Hey everyone, it's Nine Morrison from Wedlocks Education, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about Flowdesk, but we're going to run through the forms, your subscribers and segments, and workflows as well. So we're going to start over here with forms. So forms are how you are going to get people's email addresses, and you can do a lot of different things with forms. So over here we've got this one's in our footer, and it says become a Wedlocks Education Junkie. Um, and then over here, we've got this so that you can access a freebie, our freebie library. And then this one is a pop-up. So you've got a lot of different options when it comes to forms. So I'll show you, if we go into create form, you can go pop up with an image. You can go pop up without an image, ribbon banner, in line with image, in line with image with Flowdesk and Rising Tide. Um, there's a bunch of different options. This one's a full page with an image. So whatever's going to work for you and you can decide which one is going to work best and where you need to put them. And it's not unusual to have multiple different um, forms on your website. So that's not unusual. You can totally do that. We have all three of these on one website, which, you know, you need multiple different ways to grab subscribers. Um, so there is that. Now, usually when you have a form and you want people to opt in, um, the best thing to do is actually offer something for free and send them something. And that is something that you can do with your forms and have that send them something as well. And I'll show you how that's done a little bit later. Then we have our audience. So if we go over to subscribers, these are all of our subscribers here. And then if we go over to segments, this is how they're segmented. So We've got freebie library in a segment, and then we've got our starting segment, and then all of our subscribers. So these are the people who subscribed to our freebie library, and then these, this is our starting segment. Now this has, this will come into play a little bit later, but you can also do things where, depending on which form they signed up under, you can have them in different segments, so that way you can send them different types of things depending on what they signed up for. Um, and you can look, Amy Porterfield has some really, really great um, resources when it comes to that, if that's confusing for you. So definitely go check out Amy Porterfield because she's all about the email list. All right, so now let's go over to workflows. So what a workflow is, is it's basically automated, right? So I'm gonna go over here to, let's start at the very beginning. This is my workflow. Um, okay, so here's a workflow. So when somebody first subscribes, this is the first email that they will receive, is this email right here. And I will, I will show you, oops, I will show you a preview of that. All right, so this is the first email that they're gonna receive, which says, welcome to the junkies. I don't know if you know this, but you just became part of one of the coolest email lists out there. Below, you'll find all the good stuff. So this has access to our resource library, access to our freebie library, and access to our shop as well. And then there's all these different links. And so there's that. So that's the first email that they're getting, okay? I'm gonna go back. Oops, I think I put the wrong one. Okay, so this welcome to the junkies email is the first one they're getting, right? Then they're gonna wait, seven, it's gonna wait seven days. And then after seven days, it's going to introduce them to me. Like, hi, my name is Nate Morrison. This is me, this is all about me, blah, blah, blah. Then wait seven days and then it's gonna send them another email that says what to expect from Wedlock's education. Wait seven days, then it's gonna send them another email, right? And you can keep going and going and going and you can do as many email chains as you want but it's gonna automatically do that. And the nice thing is, is it just happens automatically. You don't have to do anything to make that happen, which is pretty awesome. And that's basically what an entire email list is for, right? And you can keep promoting things as well. So that's gonna be the email chain that they're gonna get, their workflow. So that's this workflow, okay? Now you can create multiple different workflows and then have different segments assigned to that workflow, if that makes sense. So let's say, let's say you had a wine company, right? Like a wine shop. Let's say you had a wine shop and you had people who, and, and this wine shop had a subscription list 
for different wines, right? Like you sent them a new bottle of wine every single month, right? And you had people sign up as red wine drinkers and white wine drinkers, right? So you have them on segments for, so if we go over here to segments, you'd have white wine drinkers as a segment and then red wine drinkers as a segment, right? And then your workflow for them might be completely different, right? Because you're going to, for the red wine drinkers, maybe you're going to be like, hey, let's talk about Malbecs and why Malbecs are so awesome. And then for the white wine drinkers, you might be like, hey, let's talk about Chardonnays and why Chardonnays are great, right? And then maybe you also have one who are like, yeah, I love all wine. I don't discriminate between red and white, right? And then you would have those people under a different segment and under a different workflow. So that's why you would have different segments. And that's why you would have different workflows for different types of potential clients. Okay. So the other nice thing is once you get into workflows, you can look at your analytics when you go over to a workflow. So you can go right here. So we have a total of 50 subscribers in this workflow. 10 of them are already in the workflow. 40 of them have completed the workflow and have gone through all of those emails. So when you go over here, you can look at the analytics, right? So we go back over here to each email. So this has four recipients because we just did this. Open rate zero, click rate zero. Not too great, but we did just, we just started this one uh, the other day. So let's go over here. Okay, cool. So this one's got 42 people have received this email. 42.9% um, have opened it. And then 7.1% have clicked. Um, which is actually really high because a good click rate, I think, is 2.5%. So 7.1% is actually really great, and I'm happy with that. So the nice thing is you can go over here and you can see who all these people who received the email, right? You can also go over here how many people have opened that email and then how many people have actually clicked on that email, and you can go right there and see who clicked on it. Um, so... That is a pretty brief overview on how everything works with Flowdesk in regards to your subscribers, your segments, your forms, and your workflows. Um, I've shown you guys how to, how to design an email here on, on Flowdesk. So if you want to refer over to that, I will put that in the link over here as well. But if you guys have any more questions about Flowdesk, just let me know.